Um, you touched on a couple of words there, Ryan, that I think are crucial to this. And again, there's different situations where they do and don't apply, but it's the what and the how. So there's being told what to do and there's being told how to do it. Um, but again, I think it, it changes differently. So at the moment, I'm doing a load of different DIY things in the house. Um, now, I know what I want to do. You know, I know that I want the room to end up like this. I want to put this door up here or I want to change the floor here. Now, if someone wandered in off the street and said to me, no, 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 what you want to do is this and this and this and this, I don't need a stranger telling me what I want my house to look like. I know what that is. Um, not that strangers do walk in and tell me that, by the way. It's a bit of an abstract example. However, how I make those things happen, some of them I know, some of them I've got no idea. So I'll go to trusty YouTube or I'll pick up the phone and phone my DIY helpline number, but by coincidence, it's the same phone number as my dad's phone number. And I'll say, this is what I want to do, but can you tell me how I do it? And I will welcome that, how to do it, to explain me through that situation, everything else like that. Similarly, there'll be situations, you, you know, Ryan touched on earlier work situation. Actually, you know, if I'm in a place of uncomfortable what my boundaries are and aren't for my role, I know that I'm going to be told what I need to do for the business within the role that I'm in. But what I don't really then want to be prescribed is how I then do it. I want to be like, well, here's your goal. And I'll go off and I'll make that happen. And again, I might seek some advice. I might not, but I'll, I'll push that through. And I think that's a complete opposite where the what is something where actually it's comfortable to be defined because it's giving you some boundaries. You know what you've got to be going to. As long as you're working within those boundaries, you know you're working towards something to achieve. But I don't really want to be prescribed how to do it. I mean, that might be a personal thing. I thrive off of accountability. But then, like I said, there's personal situations where actually I want to be in control of the what, but I might need help with the how. And I guess in both those situations, it comes down to that either I'm asking for or I'm accepting the being told what to do, so to speak, Joe. I guess the, the bigger push button thing for a lot of people is probably when it's unsolicited or you yeah, might just be venting give, us, give a little bit of context have you had that had that happen to you what unsolicited oh yeah. well, you know I, I think everyone has it happens in lots of different situations when your people love their opinion so whatever you're doing some you know you can be talking to someone about something you're doing and there'll be a whole group of people who listen and nod and ask what you're doing but there'll be a whole you know whole host of personalities there who as soon as they gas onto what you're talking about they want to tell you how they would deal with that situation and what they would do with that and why their experience they've had is what you're going to go through and you get that kind of unsolicited and it's not even sometimes advice you're almost told by people well i've done this so you should do this and again back to earlier things you're not always asking for that i think there's times when you are and there's times when that's really useful and there's times when they're not, or there might be, you know, you might be in a situation where something's really winding you up and you know what you're going to do with it. You just want to blurt it out and get that frustration out. And you're not necessarily looking for an answer coming back. You just want someone to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can get it out of your system and become more constructive. And again, you get that bit where you're then told, well, this is how you fix your problem. And it, it doesn't always, sometimes it hits in the right way. And sometimes it doesn't, again, I suppose, depending whether you've opened that door for someone to, to give that instruction so i do mm. i do think that you know there's a lot of times when as as a group and a group i mean the six seven billion people on this planet are comfortable with a level of boundaries it's good to know where our boundaries start and end and they come through some instructional way but i think when that starts to narrow and narrow and narrow and you're getting the what to do when you're in your boundaries in your lane or you're in a place where you're experimenting i think that's where it can push on people's buttons sometimes.